Rex, Taufik and Dave shared $4,000 at first. After Rex had spent 25% of his money, Taufik had spent three-fifths of his and Dave had spent one-third of his, they had an equal amount of money left. How much did how much money did Taufik have at first? So this is a before and after question and I know after they had an equal amount of money left. So for my model, I have drawn three chunks for the three boys. Step 1. We have to make some inference from the text. First, we know that the three boys shed $4,000. But we do not know the amount of money that they have at first were equal. Next, we know that they have spent 25% and then the other person spent three-fifths and they spent one-third. But we do know that the amount of money that you spend plus the amount of money that you have left is equals to the money at first. So we can tap on this portion to do a comparison. That's our step two. We will apply these three inference to the model and from there we are able to make a comparison. So let's do step one and two together now. For the first one, let's take a look at Rex. Rex said that he spent 25%. Then we come to another problem. How are we going to annotate 25% into the model? Then the other two, instead it's fraction. A little bit tricky. So I do not want to deal with percentage here. So we are going to change 25% into fraction. That will be one quarter. So if he said that he spent one quarter of his money, think about it. What is the fraction that's left? It will be three quarter, which means there are three parts. And I'm going to draw the part that he had spent. All right, because we're going to find out how much money they have at first. Now, let's go to Taufik. Taufik said that he spent three-fifths of his money. So thinking about that, three-fifths spent. What is the fraction that's left? It will be two-fifths. And how do we draw that in the model? Two parts. And we are going to add the fraction that he had spent. Okay, so let's check Taufik get a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units and he spent 3 fifth, left with 2 fifth. Now let's go to Dave. Dave said that he spent 1 third of his money. So what's the fraction that's left? It will be 2 third. So 2 thirds, that 2 units. And we are going to include the part that he had spent, which is 1 third. You might notice that the portion for Taufik and Dave is exactly the same. Okay, because it's one bar cut into two equal units. Now we are done. And we're going to include the portion that says that the amount of money before that they have was $4,000. Now, step three. We are going to find one unit from the model using unitary method. But here is the problem. Before we take 4,000 divided by the parts, you might notice that, hey, this part is not equal to this, but this is equal to this. So how do we make sure that every single part in the model is equal before we can do a division? So let's see. We have three parts and we have two parts. Three and two. What is the common multiple? The common multiple is 6. So we are going to make them into 6 parts. By cutting. So I cut one part into 2 and over here I will cut into 3. Can you see that they are equal parts now? And same, since I, I have cut up the ones that they have left, I should do the same for what they have spent. And let's count the number of units that they have. 3, 
six nine. So nine units for Dave, three six nine twelve fifteen units for Taufik, and two four six eight eight units for Rex. Now we can do the next step, which is to find one unit. We know that four thousand dollars is equals to eight plus fifteen plus nine, which is equals to thirty two units. But we have to find one unit. So what do we do? We will take four thousand dollars divided by thirty two, which we will get hundred and twenty five. This is the most important step. A combination of using unitary method to solve. Now, going back to the question, how much money did Taufik have at first? Let's take a look at Taufik's model. He had 15 units at first. So, the final step is to find 15 units. Since we have found 1 unit, that's 125. 125 times 15, I will get $1,875. And that's my answer. That's it.